Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Well today is July 12th and just about 20 minutes ago Incus version 6.3 has been released and if you've been following my channel you note that I haven't really come out with the video in the last couple of days and broke my usual four-day video release cycle and part of that reason is because I am in Houston, Texas and as we like to say in Houston, Houston we have a problem and that was Hurricane Barrel. More on that in a future video, but for right now, I wanna focus on the brand new release of Incus version 6.3 that just came out about 30 minutes ago. So one of the big releases in Incus version 6.3 is initial support for OCI application containers. And really what that means is it is the ability to support the nesting of Docker containers inside of an Incus container. And you're gonna say, now wait a minute, um, we've always been able to do application nesting or Docker nesting inside of an Incus container. Well, this is more direct support and I'll see if I can show you a little bit about how that actually works. Uh, the next thing that I notice here is uh, baseline CPU definition within clusters. Unfortunately, previously, if you had an Incus cluster, you had to provide the same CPU uh, for all members of the cluster. And now cluster support is starting to be a little bit more ubiquitous. And so um, we're gonna see some more expansion on what it's able to do. And then also there are some improvements to the IO bus and IO cache configuration keys for how to handle that. In 6.2, a new command was introduced called Incus top, and there have been some improvements to the Incus top command in version 6.3. And then here he talks about CPU flags in server resources talking about how to basically expose different capabilities of uh, the CPU uh, back to containers. So that's really an expansion of what we've seen so far. And then um, simple stream support for static web servers. Uh, that's something I haven't worked with personally, but uh, kind of an interesting thing. And um, that's pretty much about it. So let's go take a look at how we update from Incus version 6.2 to 6.3. In order to perform the upgrade, we can head over to our terminal and we'll do an Incus dash dash version over here. And we're running version 6.2 of Incus. I like to use the Nala front end that I explained over on my video about distribution package managers. And so I'm gonna do a sudo nala update and it will determine which updates can be performed. And it says that there are 10 packages that can be upgraded. And then, so I'm gonna do a sudo nala upgrade. And when I do that, you would think that it would take the 10 upgrades but it says that all packages are up to date. If you have this happen to you, you can do a sudo nala or a sudo apt. I'm gonna do sudo nala dist dash upgrade and it will go out and perform those upgrades nonetheless. And you can see here that it says that it's going to be upgrading the Incus Incus base and Incus client and it's keeping back a number of upgrades simply because the dependencies for those are not currently available. So I'll go ahead and say yes, go do that and it will update Incus, Incus base and Incus client and following that upgrade we should be able to do an Incus dash dash version and we should be running Incus version 6.3 and now if I do an Incus dash dash version you see that we're running Incus version 6.3 
So one other thing we want to look at is if we log into one of our Incas servers and we do an Incas remote list, you'll see here that I have images, which is the normal remote repository for downloading images. I, of course, have the local machine. And then I have also some of my remote Incas servers listed so that I can perform remote operations on them. In order to take advantage of the new OCI capability, we want to install another remote repository. So we're going to do an Incas remote add docker https colon slash slash docker dot io where the protocol equals OCI. Now if I say Incas remote list, you'll notice that I have a Docker repository listed here. And now to take advantage of this new OCI capability, we can simply say Incas launch Docker colon jgraph forward slash draw IO. I'm naming the name of the container draw. I'm using the default profile and I'm using the bridge profile as I describe in Incas containers step by step to present this out to my main LAN. It comes up and says mounting or launching draw and retrieving image and unpacking the OCI image. Now that the container has been launched, we can do an Incas list and our new draw container is running at 172.16.1.62, which is on my main LAN. And one of the things that you may notice is that we have uh, containers of type virtual machine and containers of type container. But this new OCI container says it is a container of container type and I guess a subtype of application. So now all we have to do is go up to our web browser, go to 172.16.1.62. And I know that by default that the diagrams.net application runs at port 8080. If I look at the Docker Hub documentation for that app. So if I hit that at port 8080, sure enough, it comes up and there is diagrams net and we have the application fully functional. Anyway, I wanted to keep this one short for today and just talk about the release of Inca 6.3, but I got all excited about this Docker application capability and uh, so I wanted to show it off here. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and I'll see you next time.